everybody. My name is Debbie Lynn Molyneux, and I'm here with Bridge Alliance today. And I kind of feel like I should have titled this talk, Unrigging Your Mind, because that's actually what I'm going to talk about. But I'm going to start with a story. And it goes, once upon a time, I was an advertising professional. And advertising, as you may know, is part art and it's part science. But it is a lot more science than we are comfortable admitting to ourselves. You see, advertising shapes our culture. It creates fads. It pushes that button in us that needs to belong. It tells us that if we drive the right car, if we wear the right clothes, if we drink the right drinks, then we'll belong and we'll be happy, right? So I used my skills to manipulate people, people like you. And it was easy. And it paid really well. Really well. But as it turned out, I didn't actually belong. And I didn't feel good. I went from being mildly concerned about what I was, about this perversion of my values to actively repulsed with my behavior. So I had a choice to make, continue to live in an unhappy way or find a new career. As you may have guessed, I took the leap and found a new career. And it was during a meditation at a spiritual retreat on women in power that I actually uncovered a new career that aligned perfectly with my values of benevolence and altruism. It's politics. <laughs> I do love a challenge. So I went home from this conference and I ran for office as an independent. I found out that I could actually run a campaign, stay true to my integrity and my values, and get endorsed by the local paper and a bunch of other people. But not so fast there are some entrenched interests out there that were like, oh no, you're not malleable enough. We cannot work with you. And I lost the election. Uh, so somebody else talked about the, uh, the fundraising ability. That was definitely a challenge. But what I did learn was that politics is possible for everyone. And I discovered a whole bunch of things about the campaign. But what does this have to do with politics and political reform? Well, I have to tell you, when I was running my campaign, I understood all of the data that they were using because it was the same data that I used to use to manipulate people in advertising and marketing. Yeah, big loud warning bell went off in my head. And it's all based on data that they collect from us to group us then into 66 groups across the country. This is like 66 different Americas have been identified and they use this data in elections to sell us politics just like they sell us products and services. Now, I'm just one of 350 million or so people in this country, but all of us are caught up in this web. All of us. There is no exceptions. And it's all based on these 66 groups that were designed in the 90s to push our buttons and exploit our need to belong. And the reason it's ripping our country apart is because it's fake belonging. We really want to be part of a group. But right now, our groups are so isolated from each other, we don't feel part of the bigger group called America. So how do we get out of this national level of manipulation? Well, we had an idea. About three years ago, 40 people joined together in a room and ask the question, what can we do together that we cannot do alone? Because individually, we're all doing wonderful work as organizations, but there's not enough traction for a movement. So we pledged, so we decided together, 40, now 85 organizations, that we would each work on our separate thread within a new American tapestry of political reform. And we would do so based on the principles of restoring the proper role of citizens to government and politics and helping government be more effective to really serve its citizens. We pledged our sacred honor and aligned around four principles. Our sacred honor. And it's the same thing that we're calling for people to do today. We learned that there's no silver bullet out there 
that there is no single solution for us to correct our nation's course. And that's why in 2017, Bridge Alliance funded 11 projects. Each had a minimum of three organizations working together so we could build an ecosystem of collaboration. Everybody weaving their threads together, building this tapestry, weaving the tapestry of our, of our new country. In closing, I just want to say that bridging divides has never been more important. And I'm going to ask for you to do three things. The first one is to look for colleagues and allies in unexpected places. The second is to really be curious, true curiosity and real respect, especially with people who have diverse perspectives. And lastly, unrig your mind, break free from this web of manipulation that has taken over our country so we can sell stuff and services and politics. Because until we weave this new tapestry together, this new America, to fulfill the founding documents, none of us will be free. And that's the future we all want, is freedom for everyone. Thank you.